So uh, let's say we want to um, have a pointer, I like the imp, but to be able to point at other things in the scene, uh, just like uh, just like you would really in edit mode. So this is way over here, like peeking out from behind there, and I'm over here, then uh, I can just hover over that and it knows I'm hovering over that and hovering over this. Uh, now you can use a gadget called the grab sensor and this knows if the imp is hovering over it so if we uh, just quickly make a keyframe that makes it glow uh, then we can hook the hovered up to that uh, keyframe like that and now when we're in play mode when we're hovering over it it glows um, and same for grabbed, but then you have to set in the physics properties, set it to be grabbable. And now I can grab it and it'll let me grab it. And if it was movable as well, then you can grab it and move it around. But it's very heavy. So probably make that a lot lighter. And now you can move it around. Um, however, uh, what if you want something that's not that simple? What if you don't know where it's going to point at, but you want something to some object to be at that point, some logic or something like that? Um, then we can do it a different way. So first, for this to work properly, we need to know where the camera is, and that means placing a camera in the scene. So we're going to use the grid mode and make a block. And this is going to have a load of logic in it. So let's add a microchip. So we get a microchip and I'm holding L1 to snap it to the surface. Um, and that also adds this special link applied to object to the object that you surface snapped it onto. Um, but then you can uh, move it into the center of this object. Um, now, normally, if you try and push it or pull it or whatever, it will still be stuck to it because it knows it's surface snapped. But if, while holding it, if you tap L1, then it stops being surface snapped and we can push it inside. Um, and now we can turn on X-Ray and group these two. Open that up. And it still has that link attached to the, uh, to the cube, but we don't actually want that. Uh, so I'll remove that and link it to the group. Uh, in this case, it may not make much difference, but in general, that's a good uh, I idea to remember to do that. So now ch uh, gadgets in here will apply to the whole object, move the object, destroy the object, and so on. Now we want to add a camera to it, and that just faces over there. That's that's fine. Um, but now if we play then we're, we're in the, inside the sculpt, which is why it's all hazy and stuff. So we'll make the sculpt itself invisible and non-collidable. And now we don't see that funny uh, hazy effect. So now we know where the uh, camera is. We want to know where the imp is. The only way of uh, knowing where the imp is currently is by... Uh, we'll make a copy of that because we'll need this kind of setup again. Uh, but we won't need that. And we'll put it in front of the camera. And um, I think for now we'll just make this visible. Make it easier to test. And we'll add a controller sensor. And we don't need these. Don't need these wires. And um, go to the imp tab, the important properties tab, and set it to follow imp. And we'll set it to force possession as well. And now when we play, I'm controlling this as I would the imp, um, the position of it. So if you just, uh, uh, if you make this hide the imp, or you can have eyes, hide the imp, um, and then you can, oops, make this visible 
then that is your cursor and that can look however you like. So if we actually turned on, gave it the uh, tip on target, so I'm scaling up the imp so it kind of pops out the bottom. There we go. Whoa. Um, and now that, that object is staying on the end of the imp. Uh, one small thing is if you set this to be imp faces camera, then this object will face the camera. So like if we just um, quickly put a mark on there. So that is facing the camera and the imp is facing the camera as well. But if it was on upright, uh, maintain orientation, then when it's possessed, it will keep the same orientation as it already had. Uh, and the imp will match the object's orientation instead. So it's kind of, does the imp match the object or the object match the imp facing the camera? So we'll make it face the camera because that looks better for the imp. It's the imp's good side. And if this object was invisible, and we'll just press triangle on that to reset its size, then we'd be able to see the imp because the sculpt is in the way. So now we we have control of the imp, but we know where it is because it's in that object. So if we grab that and we actually move this, we can actually move this um, to any point we want, and that will be where the imp will appear. So now it will appear in front of that uh, cube, uh, but we can't see it. So now it's in front of the cube, for example. But here we want to just put it on one of the grid spots. So if we press triangle, it doesn't actually matter where it is in relation to that cube, just that it's on a grid grid dot. So we'll just leave it there. And that's just in the front, the front middle of that cube, in the middle, one notch to the front. And then we'll add a tag. And now we put that at the same spot. Like that and now this tag is at the same position as the imp uh, tip and so we have this tag to aim at and whatever else so cool so now we can um, draw a line from the camera position which we know through the imp tip position which we know and see where it hits on the ground so first I'm gonna just um, Rotate that down a bit so we can have something to aim at on the on the ground, and I'll add a laser scope. And now we give this a name. So this is the imp tip, um, and then we tell the um, we'll just make this longer first, and we'll tell it to point at tags and use up and down on the d-pad to go through that. So now it's aiming at the imp tip. If we move this around, the, the uh, laser scope is still pointing at the imp tip. By default, it needs to be visible and collidable. If you just say it doesn't care if it's visible or not, then it will go, uh, if it's like that, then it will go right through anything that is not visible or not collidable. Um, but you can change these settings. So now if it's both, I can make that invisible so now it's staying on that plane um, but you just can't see the plane so if you made that plane huge that would be fine you can um, make it super duper low detail because the laser scope doesn't care because it just knows what the geometry is basically and that will still work fine <laughs> I'd like to thank Cole Witzer, Shadow of Callus, MDKD99, and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. Thanks for watching. If you'd like me to continue making these tutorials and helping creators across the internet, you can find out how to support me in the link in the description. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.